Good morning, everybody. Um, it's Sunday morning, the Lord's Day. Um, <clears throat> getting ready to finish up the um, uh, week two of our COVID-19 extended break. Uh, we got to come up with a better name than that. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I'm, I'm putting down the uh, lecture and stuff for the coming week. We're going to be talking about um, orientation exercises. So uh, for the for the remainder of the semester, we're going to be talking about um, the different types of exercises, and, and and some of these you're going to go, well, gosh, we spent so much time talking about them already. But what I want to do is give you guys a, a more in-depth look at some of these things. Um, this is exactly what we're going to go over in class, and so because I'm, I think that we could get pretty close to what our class experience is like online by using a couple of different modalities. We're gonna we're gonna do it. I'm gonna do a lecture just like I was in class. And you know, like I, I got on you guys all the time. That I, I I didn't get a lot of feedback oftentimes, so um, maybe it won't be much different at all. So um, orientation exercises. So um, orientations fall into uh, the discussion based silo of what exercises are. Right, discussion based exercise familiarize players with current plans, policies, agreements, and procedures or maybe used to develop new plans, policies, agreements, and procedures. So um, this, is, this is sort of like the, um, the initial introduction to exercises. This is, it's pretty e they're easy, and um, hopefully by the time we're done talking here, you're gonna understand that, gosh, that most of my professors are using this style. Um, it's this orientation, this lecture, um, you know, every day in class. And so hopefully this one's pretty easy for you. Discussion-based exercises can include like seminars. So you, know, you come in and we just give you a little information about you know, what it is we're doing. Uh, workshops, tabletop exercises fall into this orientation piece. And then games, which um, it's always hard to sort of put your finger on what a game is. We'll talk about it at some point but um, in the next couple weeks. But you know, games are when you, when you, almost when you take, so let's say for instance, um, you know, who can get enough uh, material from point A to point B? Here's your logistical sort of parameters. And I split you up into two groups or three groups or four groups. And I say, who can get me there the most, um, the quickest and most efficient and most effective way? So break. And then basically we try to figure out it's a way to sort of stimulate um, innovative thinking, so on and so forth. So. Um, Seminars are informal discussions, unconstrained by real-time events, and generally led by a presenter. Um, they introduce something new uh, or existing, right? policies or plans, emergency operations center. So basically, um, you know, um, for all the incoming freshmen that come into the university, uh, security does a little bit of a, an orientation with them about policies and procedures and how we, how we uh, move. They emphasize emergency management linked to school, mission, finances, annual progress, community responsibility. And so we're, I guarantee you um, organizations are having um, orientations with their uh, folks, regardless of where they're coming out of, over this COVID-19 because everything's changing. Everything is, is, is um, being operated a little bit differently. And so the... Um, the administration needs to explain that to its people. It's done via uh, orientation. So what are some of the advantages of orientation um, type exercises, right? They provide low stress environment. I I'm just up here just sort of telling you how it is. I'm not, I'm not going, hey, what do you think? Or, 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 or based on you know, your time here with our company, give me an answer. It's, it's low stress, effective for both small and large groups. Um, I've done orientations for as few as three people, but I've also done them for as large as 150. Utilize a no-fault forum. Most of our exercise should be using a no-fault forum, but this sort of naturally happens with orientation exercises. Encourages participant uh, interaction. Um, while I'm not gonna sort of try to nail you down on an answer, I'm gonna ask you what you're thinking. This is the same way I, I run my classes where I'll say something and I'll say, what do you think about that? And when you make a comment, I say, well, tell me more. Uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, to, to create interaction. Um, there's no actual time constraints, right? Because we're not simulating a time. We're not trying to get something done before. We're just sort of, hey, here's where we're at. 
Let's talk about it. Support a, a variety of instructional techniques. Um, you know, you could argue that what I'm doing here right now is uh, an orientation to the idea of orientation exercises, which seems a little strange. Um, but I'm doing it via a video that's going to be posted on YouTube that you're going to be able to access. I could do it in person. I could do it via a, a puppets. I mean, there's all kinds of, of, of ways to do it. Um, with most of our exercise, what we're trying to what we're trying to figure out eventually is how what we're going to come up with. What's our end product look like? And um, hopefully, this is based on. So your end product might look like you know everyone walks out of here and has a better understanding of what our operation is going to look like via uh, during this COVID nineteen uh, pandemic. Everyone walks out, they sign it. The end product is that everyone is informed and everyone has been made aware of our new new, new policy. Um, it could be that you're trying to create a new policy, um, that you're trying to create a new sort of um, uh, priority for your organization, so on and so forth. What's the purpose, right? The familiarized staff to the organization's emergency response plan. At this point, I would point back to the little hanging wall uh, thing on our behind me in, cla in the classroom. But uh, gosh, it's probably been a month and a half now, but. I did a, uh, uh, some work with the RAs and RDs at the university, and we just went over a handful of the uh, different operating procedures that we have at the university. This is something that I could probably take an entire semester or even a year and go through one at a time and just walk everyone through so they're f more familiar with how we operate. Familiarizes your current staff to changing information or procedures. So if we're going to do something different, um, based on, you know, if we've been doing something the same for 10 years and now we're going to make a, a 90 degree turn and start doing something differently, we better have a time where we sit down and talk about what that looks like. Brings together various departments for uh, better understanding and coordination. We do this all the time. Um, I sit down with student development and security and uh, I've sat down with uh, student development and operations before because we want to see what these things look like as they sort of work together. And is this new policy or procedure going to impact one more than it would the other? Uh, and identifies planning and pr uh, response priorities prior to the plan development. So we sit down and we talk about what our hazards might be that we're facing, and then that gets written into the, to the, uh, the plan. Key concept here, a seminar is an informal discussion-based exercise led by a presenter or facilitator used to teach or orientate um, participants. So when you're thinking about what an orientation exercise, that's it. Let's see here what else I want to cover. Um, so different methods of orientation exercises. You can have talk throughs where you just look. This is what we've got. Here's what we have. You can have brainstorming where I, I show what, you know, what should we do for you know, for the inst for instance, what should we do with students who can't travel back home. Um, because this COVID-19, because their country borders are closed, right? We get to think about those sort of things. Um, we can look at a case study. What, look, this is what they did before, or this is what some other organization did. What do you think? And then uh, it could even be like a training or a workshop, and this is kind of what we're, we're doing here uh, between uh, the students and myself. All this is on your PowerPoint too that, uh, that I'm providing. So it'll be on the E360 page for, for the uh, exercise course, but I just wanna walk you through it here. The goal here, um, when we start talking about the, the exercise, the goal here really is just to um, accomplish whatever it is you're trying to, whatever your goal is, right? If I'm having this to try to talk through to come up with a policy on what we do with COVID-19 um, uh, students during this COVID-19 crisis who live outside of the United States. My, my goal is to come up with some sort of a solution. So we talked quick through that, right? And, and I get it. 10 minutes is about what I'm going to try to stay, uh, stay at. Experts say that's about what, what, uh, what people can handle. This simple, this is a simple exercise, right? It's, it's a powerful tool though, to orientate teams, uh, plans and teams to each other, right? So figure out what we're doing with the people who are going to be doing it. They're very beneficial, very cheap, and can give you a ton of valuable information, right? So 
when it comes time to be thinking about exercises, don't just discount orientation, the orientation because it just sounds like a lecture and uh, you know society seems to be anti-lecture because they're very powerful, they're very cheap, and they can be very useful for you as you're determining what your sort of uh, next steps are gonna be. So thank you guys. Um, enjoy the rest of your week. Get this work done. I understand you gotta be in it. It's, it's frustrating, it's different, but I'm telling you, it's gonna be worth it when it's all said and done, all right? Stay safe.